Whenever it comes to the election of a Speaker, uh, I think that there has been a stark change of position uh, by many of the parties in this chamber. Because, of course, we tried to have an election of Speaker in October 2019. And during uh, that period, uh, the leader of the Alliance Party, Naomi Long, and her team didn't turn up to the Assembly that day. And in fact, Na Naomi Long said, we do not need a pointless talking shop, her words. Michelle O'Neill in 2019 opposed the election of a speaker. She came today and talked about the need uh, to have courage to get on with the uh, job uh, and that we shouldn't deny democracy. But of course, for three years, Sinn Féin stopped the Assembly and the Executive operating. And she said that she would not be coming into this Assembly until there was an Executive uh, established. And of course, uh, Mr Eastwood uh, said that there will not be an Executive form today and if that is the case, we will be in no position to support a speaker and allow for the undermining of the Good Friday Agreement. What has changed? I'll, I'll give away in a minute. What has changed in that time? Well, maybe we should look at the words that came next from Mr. Colum Eastwood. He said, we will not support a speaker and allow for the undermining of the Good Friday Agreement through a unionist-dominated shadow assembly. So that is what has changed. Now, Mr O'Toole has come here today and talked about thwarting democracy. He came and he's talked about trust in politics. Well, what does it do to trust in politics whenever they're not prepared to elect a speaker in 2019, but they were wanting to elect uh, one uh, today? It's completely inconsistent uh, from the SDLP, from Sinn Féin and from the Alliance Party. And they're all shaking their heads, Mr Speaker. They don't like it, but it is the truth. They refuse. Order, members. Order. Sorry, Mr. Lands. Order, please. Let me make it very clear. I want us to have devolution in Northern Ireland, but I want us to have stable devolution in Northern Ireland. And I would make this point. Imagine for a second that we had on the Irish border what we currently have in the Irish Sea. Checks, control posts, and in the future under the OCR regulations, uh, charges. If there were checks, control posts, and charges on the Irish border, that would not be a recipe for political stability in this place. And it's not a recipe for political stability when those things are taking place in the Irish Sea. We need to see uh, those change. We need to recognise that there are significant and serious concerns that members on this side of the House uh, hold. So I want to see that stable uh, foundation. It is up to the government to take action, but I hope that all parties in this House would recognise the concerns that exist and press for those changes that we all need to see. Thank you.